wanted the audience to feel like they were really at a boxing match. And so the set designer and I pitched this idea, we want the boxing ring to push out into the auditorium. We said, well, yeah, that's a great idea, Alex, but of course it can't be done. And they made it happen. We get the front of the audience up on stage and suddenly the audience is entirely in the round. You don't want to all of a sudden feel like you're stepping into a really traditional musical. You want it to feel sort of dangerous and unsettled. The final fight isn't a gimmick. The goal is that if you've really gone on this journey with Rocky and Adrian, and then right in the final 20 minutes, you're pulled into the narrative, I just thought, how exciting and how visceral would that be? What's so important about everything leading up to the fight, it sets the scene. You grow to love these characters so that when you do get to act two and we are racing to the fight, there's a reason behind it. Musically, the fight uses virtually every theme that you've heard throughout the evening. It's Rocky's entire story and just a 15 round fight. The amazing thing about the final fight is that it is this utter collaborative moment between theater artists. There's cameras everywhere, there's makeup being put on, there's an intense amount of sound design that goes into the fight. There are mics and towels, there are mics and water bottles. All the cameras have mics on it, there's a boom operator. The actual choreography of the miking is just as complex as the fight choreography. It was really important for us that the fight was as visceral and real as possible. So the easiest way for us to do it was to create an eight count structure. We may hit on a two, four, six. It's boxing, but then we have to turn it into choreography and then turn it back into boxing. The fight is full contact. Some nights it's not as hard and, I'm, and I sort of have to act more. Some nights it's really hard and I need to act less. In most fight sequences, you're able to create lots of feints and tricks. In Rocky, there is no way to hide anything. One of the things that seemed really fun was could you actually bring in a jumbotron? The video was about providing the audience this view of the action that you can't get normally sitting in a theater seat. All the bruises and blood, it has to look really perfect for the camera. So we had to teach everyone how to apply the makeup in a way that didn't look like makeup. They're doing it in one, two moves when even a professional makeup artist might spend minutes. This is the most difficult <laughs> and technical show I have ever done, and I've done quite a few shows. These audiences are reacting as if they're, they're watching a real fight, and I feel it on stage. Even the most grizzled guys you see in the audience, you know, they may tell you that, yeah, I'm going to Rocky because I want to see the fight. They're not just going to see the fight, they're going to see the struggle, they're going to see the love story. People walk out and say, I've never seen anything like that on Broadway or anywhere else.